Good morning on this windy, very sunny, nice and warm August. Doing a bit of work on the um, boat, the cruise craft, Rogue 14. So there's a rusty axle. Yuck. Shite. Got a new one yesterday, picked it up. $300 for the kit. I'll just not tighten this hub up yet. Plenty of grease. Always leave your shafts. That's marine grease. Uh, listen, I know all that's going to rust out, but will it last 10 years? Of course it will. The other one did. Bought two new tyres and wheels. So the, the hubs are a... These are a Ford configuration. The old ones were a Ford stud. Uh, you just can't get the, the wheels for it now. The tyres were, well, like a decent tyre was about $80. Um, wheel and tyre. The only shitters, but they were $95 each. So I put the axle on this morning, put the suspension on yesterday. This is what you get in the, in the pack. So there's the back of the hub. That goes in there, and that is the dust seal that goes over the top. Knock that in. Plenty of lube, obviously, and then that will go on to the axle that way. And then there's the other bearing race, which go in there. Air uh, spindle come through there, and then washer and castellated nut. Beautiful. Kit's quite good. Get a two tow ball receiver. And you get a new jockey wheel. They're like a turn up sort of thing, so you don't actually unbolt it and lift it up, you just turn it around along with the um, chassis. So there's Lee's, my neighbours, help me out, lending me those axle stands. Good old quiet one. There's one of the old uh, wheels that I can't use now. No BT's doing all right. Uh, so I've been recovering the seats. Look at that for your first attempt for the boat, obviously. So I'll put new bases on. Let me lick a paint. I've got some of this marine vinyl. There's one of the seat bases. So basically, I just got the, the the old seat when it had the cover on, stuck it on like that, and I drew around my pattern, rolled it forward, drew it around again, and obviously that way. So I just came up with one length. Show you on this one, which is like from here round to the front, back down the side and then uh, same again I just lay the pad on the material and drew around it, cut it, stitched it. Bob's your uncle, fan as your aunt. So when they were stitching them I just put a centre line in between this base pad and the edging of the seat cover and the original covers this was all foam that was attached to the vinyl so I was thinking you know what can I get that's squidgy but firm so I had a walk around came out and then uh, an exercise mat yoga mat whatever I just used that and I just glued it with contact adhesive I've only got that last one to do Beautiful. Uh, I'll tell you what I've been up to. Um, bought the furniture for the deck. So obviously they're still in the middle of building shit. Well, that's the way it goes. 
so we've just started to plant some weeds and they're coming on nicely quite good at weeds actually uh, you tell it's windy all the bits off the trees yeah them trees they keep dropping bits so when Alexandria likes sweeping it up every morning before she goes to school and when she comes home from school so that's the seating arrangement there's a good little space there for a refrigerator mm, full of beer this is going to be my uh, external socket and then uh, Alexandria wanted one of these egg chairs this was on it should be $500 it was $180 because the hook from here was missing so I just went to Bunnings and bought two chains and wrapped them around it. Save yourself a few quid. Um, there's the old dining chair. This floor scuffs up really easy so we just bought some of these. These were from Ikea, $35. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this mat in half and then stitch along that side onto the end of these. So it will virtually cover what you need for when you're pulling the chairs in and out. So we're all pleased with that. Um, and we're just we're going to make a better. I'm going to make a better chair out of that, obviously. But um, because it's just just the stump coming out, we've built a little rockery. So I put all the timbers in, and Kirsty and Alexandria made it all nice. Uh, next door neighbour Lee has got some more rocks for us um, that's about it really get to the garden at some point won't we we did water the weeds the other day um, it's about your lot for today there's the old bases I mean seeing as it the boat's 1980 they not done too bad have they Oh, and there's the old covers. So that was a, a foam that they had on. Oh Jesus. You know that's tired in it. I've got underpants that I like. That. But they do feel comfortable. Uh, yeah, so that's about it really. Anyway, I'll get the other hub on and get the uh, wheels on. We'll tidy up the inside. Obviously, I've got to make covers for the backs of those. I don't think I'll renew the timber. I'll just get a slack as create a sock basically. This goes over the top. Just looks a bit better than what it does. And we've got some cleaning stuff. You can see that's nice and shiny and smooth. And then you move up here, and it's dull and rough as anything. Um, believe it or not, that motor is a 1976 and it starts first time every time would I risk going out into the sea with it? Nah, I wouldn't have thought so although my neighbour he said he'd give me a tow um, he'd come out with us just to mess around but that's all in the future i to get my licence first um, that's about it really old boat Show you a bit of sunshine. See you next one. I'll see you in yet. Yeah.